What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ryan. This is my C5 Corvette project car. Today's video is going to be about removing bolt joint. I tried looking for videos about how to do this. The rear ones, but I couldn't find any. So I kind of figured out how to do it myself. Just using the logic. Well, it's not that simple because uh, probably it's simple to take it out using the tools, right? But for that, you have to make sure that everything is well secure with jack stands and stuff. So let me go ahead and, and show you what I did on the other side because this one I already took it out. Um, I'm going to record it. So y'all can see how it's done or at least how I did it but I didn't show you the other one because I was just you know trying I wasn't sure that I was doing it the right way but I kind of kind of did it good so on this side I'm going to show you how to do it so this is the tool to do it well, the thing is that I have to make sure that this go up a little bit because it doesn't fit like that. And I didn't want to take the control arm. You got to make sure that all of this is secure. The axle and everything is out of the way. So I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so I put zip tights all around, axle and everything, and now we're going to put the jack under this area right here, I'm going to try to lift it, lift the control arm. <laughs> see if the thing fits under here which I think it will now for that I'm gonna use this one right here is on the middle I rented this tool on on uh, O'Reilly's so very helpful tool and we're gonna use this one right here this part right here it's gonna go under this thing that we're gonna be turning and then this right here oh we we'll still have to lift it a little bit more let's try oh this thing right here, we gotta put it on the ball joint, and then this right here, we gotta put it in there, and then this, and then this right here. Perfect. So right now, gonna make it fit. Nice and clear over there. All right. All right. I should have done this before, but we're gonna clean this right here just to make sure that it's clean. And now everything is straight up. We're gonna start torquing this. And this thing will start to push the control arm and this will start to push the the uh, the ball joint down. <laughs> Now 
we got to unscrew this back again. coming out now I'm just gonna bang this a little bit with my hammer where's my hammer there you go it's out this didn't work anymore like it was super loose. I already ordered the uh, new ones. So now I'm gonna be replacing the upper bolt joints. This is the rear knuckle, but this right here, the upper bolt joint, it's the same as the front upper bolt joint, the front ones. The one that goes on the lower control arm on the rear doesn't matter if it's the, the left or the right side is the same lower ball joints on the front so if you look for the rear lower ball joints you won't find them just make sure that is the lower ball joint the front one is the same on the on the rear one and the upper one is the same on the uh, rear left or rear right side so right now I'm gonna replace that too be replacing the lower and the upper one and for that I'm gonna use the, the little tool right here all right I'm gonna have to use this little adapter thing to press the ball joint all the way down I start with this this thing came with the with the kit so let's try it I think it's out. Yep. There you go. So I will be getting this in the mail pretty soon be making a video on how to put it back together and meanwhile this is something that you probably you won't have to do probably but in my case the previous owner he didn't quite use the right tool to take this knuckle out this is from the rear side the right knuckle and as you can see it should be like this you know flat but this one, they banged the thing too much, and now it has these things right here. Just use the right tool, man. Use the right tool. You can you can buy it online, or you can you know buy it. And to to take this out, you it's it the tool is like twenty five dollars. Now, if you would like to buy the whole thing, if you bang it like this, and thank God it nothing else happens or didn't crack or nothing because this is aluminum but if these were cracked I will have to I will have to buy an, another one new one is like three hundred and fifty dollars just a thing without the wheel bearing hub or nothing just the, the knuckle but since this one is it's not that bad I mean it's bang and everything but it's not that bad I still can fix it I'm gonna use my favorite tool right here and I'm going to use it to make this thing look at least flat again. So, I'll show you how it is at the end. I'm going to grind it. go it's 
flat again. You might be wondering, like, why, why is he doing this? But the thing is that if I have, if I have to remove this, uh, let's say another time I have to remove it again, the tool doesn't fit here because of this, the H. So or because of this, the 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 tool doesn't fit. I can't remove the thing. Uh, you will have to bang it again. I didn't. I have patience, and I tried with the other tools to 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 try it and to remove this thing. But with the right tool, you can remove it because of these edges. So now this one's flat. In case I have to remove it again the next time, I won't have that problem. In the case that you like to bang the out of these things and you just don't care and you're, you're you don't care you know you just oh yeah you bang it and it will come out then this video is not for you but for now this one's done